I'm going to show you what it's like to type with a piano. So hi, I'm Adam. I made this system from scratch and I wanted to talk about it. <clears throat> I was not trying to solve a particular problem here. I just came up with an idea and I wanted to do it for fun. So I did not need to answer the question of why are you doing this so much or how are you going to turn this into a product? Just for fun. With that in mind, I had certain design requirements for myself. One is that I wanted to focus on typing English words and sentences rather than code. When you're typing code, you have a lot more symbols, shortcuts, commands, and you can still do that and I'll show that, but that's not the optimized case here. The second is that I focused on speed instead of musicality. That first little bit of typing that you heard sounded like a cat was walking over the keyboard. That's because I didn't focus on things sounding nice as you typed out English words. I think that'd be very difficult to do. The third thing was that I wanted to come up with my own solution. There are solutions out there like stenotype keyboards, which lets you type in corded ways or predictive text. Those are things that exist and that if you were trying to make this into a product, I'm sure you would probably pursue those, but I just want to come up with something myself. So here's what I did over the course of about six hours one day. I designed this from that problem statement of how do I type on a piano. I developed it and then I tested it. So one of the first keys of that was modes. I came up with the idea of letters mode, which is what I'm in right now. And then numbers mode, I can press a, an augmented chord anywhere on the keyboard. So any augmented chord will do. And then I can type out numbers. And then command mode would be invoked with any minor chord anywhere on the keyboard. So now I'm in command mode and I can do things like go to the beginning of the line, delete to the end of the line, undo, redo. Intervals were kind of an extension of that. And let me switch back into letters mode here with a major chord. You could press them anywhere on the keyboard. And part of the reason for that is because I didn't know which hand you'd want to use certain keystrokes for. So maybe you want to type a comma with your left hand and a period with your right hand. So intervals, we have a second, we'll type a space. A third, we'll press enter. A fourth is comma, a fifth is period. And one of the other kind of common ones here is deleting an entire word at once with an octave. So I could just press this and delete everything. The layout of the keys, I tried to base on the letter frequency in English. So if I press E, it's with my thumb here, and then T is with my thumb, A and O are with my pointer fingers, I and N middle fingers, and then it gets a little bit different after that. But the point was that you wouldn't have to move your hands too much in order to type common letters. And for uncommon letters like J or like Z, I do have to move my thumbs inward on the keyboard for those. The last part of the initial design was velocity. So if I press a key just regularly, it types it out lowercase and pressing it much harder is generally equivalent to pressing shift. So that lets me type a capital letter when I'm in letters mode or when I'm in numbers mode, I can type out the punctuation that corresponds to those numbers. That was all part of the initial design. Here are some improvements that I made over the course of trying to learn this. One is that whenever you're typing out punctuation, it's almost always followed by a space. So I might as well just combine the two and that way I save myself one extra keystroke of having to type a space. Another thing that I realized is that you press space and backspace so frequently that rather than have to type an interval for those all the time, I might as well make them their own keys. So I made F sharp be space and the highest A be backspace. One of the other improvements that I made, and this wasn't until I realized as I was typing that this was even a problem, was that typing intervals is very difficult to get feedback on. So for example, let's say I'm typing SH as in show. I might type this so quickly that it gets interpreted as that space, which was a major second here. So the problem that I had is that I had to mindfully slow myself down in order to type accurately. So what I changed it to instead is I press this lowest F on the keyboard and now that acts as sort of a shift key and I can enter intervals. So you saw me doing this earlier, but you might not have known why. This is what lets me activate those intervals. That way I don't run into any problems with typing text. Some thoughts on this. This was incredibly difficult to do. I tried practicing for a half hour almost every day for the last couple weeks to get up to the speed that I'm at now. While practicing, I don't know what it was exactly, but I'd find that I'd type, let's say I was trying to type out the word word. So I'd, I'd do something like this, 
where I press the right finger down, but I press it on the wrong hand. <laughs> so what I meant to do is press my left ring finger, or left pointer finger down. I ran into these sorts of issues all the time. You basically have to undo your muscle memory as you're learning how to type on this. And then I wanted to talk about co-design really briefly. I did all of this in Node.js. The two main libraries were MIDI, which let me actually handle these messages, and then Robot.js, which let me send keystrokes to the operating system. Finally, I want to do a typing test, and we're going to cut so that I get a clean test for this. For this part, I'm going to be doing the top 200 words over the course of about a minute. And you'll see that not many of these words are going to be capitalized. So this isn't a real typing test, but it'll give us a pretty good idea for how I type and mess up as I go through this. So I'm not going to talk for most of this so I can focus on this and let's start. even paying attention. All right, so 57 words per minute. That's actually really good for how well I've been doing here because I think the highest I've ever gotten so far has been 58 words per minute. So that's it. I hope this helped demystify what I was doing here and that you found this interesting. Thank you guys for watching.